<laughs> give me work i don't want you to work i didn't knew that you are going to make a video otherwise yeah. you know i would have prepared something in myself no no it, it has in to be improper after covid universities have become yeah. very lenient, lenient you know because they they incurred a lot of losses yeah let's give admissions for yeah. now that's also one of the reasons why we are getting to see that a lot of students are not getting a job are you confident that you will find a job here in the us yes a lot of uh, students coming from india yeah they don't know this but once your course get complete there is a 60 day time and in that time you must land a job relevant to your field of study yes Dollar. if you are smart enough to select yeah. your courses yeah. then what you will do is that for the last semester you will keep just one credit there are lessons to learn from you that you know what you can actually achieve by being more participative this is some kind of boring presentation or something yeah. is going to happen tell them about your profile tell them about yourself everyone is looking for someone to work with and if they get the right person they will give you if you are planning to study in the us watch the video until the end and subscribe to the channel So I think just don't think that you know you coming to US is the the last thing. Uh, uh, no, it's it it's is like, the start of the journey. Like now, now, uh, now everything is going to start. start. No, and that's great. I mean, uh, I think very inspirational that you know. I I always believe that you know there are lessons to be learned. Somebody else might not be able to, uh, you know, get the same internship in in Australia, but yes. there are lessons to learn from from you that you know what you can. actually achieve by being more participative yes main thing is that you keep on looking you keep on you looking keep on looking, keep on looking. Uh-huh. don't feel like this is some kind of boring presentation or something yeah. is going to happen so it is not going to help us but just keep on looking go talk with people keep. tell them about your profile tell them about yourself why you are here what you want to do in life everyone is looking for someone to work with and if they get the right person they will give you the and you are saying you don't yourself. have experience you see all your battery tech <laughs> held out no my experience uh-huh. you know like i i cannot put my experience on the paper yeah. Yeah. Though I worked with Admit Card itself for yeah. some time <laughs> as a mentor and ambassador, and I was the yeah. first person to work as an ambassador and mentor with Admit Card. Right. Are you a student ambassador here at Stevens? Are you part of the admissions office as well? No, currently, currently, currently I'm not. No. Like because like being a student, they wouldn't let me be part of an admission council. Right. Uh, There is one more beautiful view from yeah. here. You you always get to look at a lot of cruise ships, especially those you know like seven, nine decks. Those kind of cruise ships you get to yeah, see. Yeah, I can here. see one smaller one. So uh, according to you, which are some of the best programs that are there at Stevens University? Computer science. They say it's very good. Computer science. Data yeah. science. They say Stevens uh, construction engineering. Okay. Is one of the best. because like uh, i heard that everyone uh, ends up getting a good, very good job in a very small time right and construction uh, engineering is yeah, one that you construction yeah. engineering right. and uh, engineering management is also here uh, very few universities right. use engineering yeah. management and systems engineering in my like good old days i mean duke university was very popular for uh, duke is one yeah. of the ivy league yeah. right so that is the reason that it is still a popular university about stevens is like it is a first year university so after ivy leagues you can consider coming yeah. to stevens how much is it going to cost you to study at stevens of okay. course now with all the uh, research assistantships and the uh, projects mm-hmm. uh, but without that how much would it without cost without that per semester cost is 23000 23000 dollars yes. per semester yes so four semesters Yes, four semesters. Yeah. For the last semester, you just pay for the one one course. One course. Dollar. If you are smart enough to select yeah. your courses, yeah. then what you will do is that for the last semester, you will keep just one credit score. One credit score. And you yeah. will pay just two thousand dollars around. Right. That's it. So about seventy-five thousand dollars is the cost yes, of. Yes, around seventy-seven, sixty-five uh, to seventy thousand. Sixty-five to seventy thousand. Yes. And yes. did you get any scholarships? Uh, scholarships amount uh, like. you know I, i didn't get it that much yeah. but there are certain students who get a scholarship of like 15 to 20000 dollars as well yeah if uh, there is no gap in their education yeah then they get that 15 to 20000 dollars of scholarship can yeah, also yeah but be it's there. a one time scholarship one time scholarship yeah. and uh, that is also applied only for the first year of the first year of of the course Not but yeah, I mean that reduces the cost of tuition considerably. Yes, considerably. Yeah. Like, I know certain people who got a scholarship of twenty thousand dollars completely one semester Sorry. is free. Life is free. Yeah. yeah. So and uh, how much is uh, the stipend that you get as a research assistant? The so stipend is like a good amount. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't like to bring it on yeah. camera. Yeah. <coughs> but it's like you know. Uh, It's good. I would say it's fair. It's same as Stanford almost. So according to you, I mean now you will be able to fully fund your uh, tuition with the research assistantship and the Australia uh, project. No, it's not like that. For the Australia project, they paid me stipend there. Yeah. And uh, for the research assistantship position, my university gives me uh, like complete scholarship for, for this semester. For this semester. Not the previous, previous semester. Previous semester. You know? yeah. <laughs>
otherwise they lose on a lot of money yeah <laughs> no but they get a great student and a great spokesperson for themselves yeah so i hope <laughs> <laughs> so you see this is the another view you get from shiganj university this is the house of the president himself he's gone home for thanksgiving yeah maybe <laughs> you can see the entire skyline of new york right you can see that you can see the very old famous empire state building yes also the chrysler building is also also visible from here very beautiful and like right in the middle of most of the employers you would want to be connected to yes and stevens as a they say it has a good uh, this so uh, in terms of its engineering mm -hmm. it has a very good reputation as a polytechnic uh, research institute So yeah, I mean, I think on the campus uh, they are. Yeah, some of the very famous people have studied from Stevens. Actually. Who all? One guy name is Alexander Crombey, okay. Humphrey. Okay. <laughs> he also studied from Stevens, and later he became president of Stevens. Okay. And currently, my professor, he himself holds this chair. Okay. So I work directly for uh, the guy who holds that chair. Okay. Yeah. And that that person was the guy who brought. Engineering economics in US. How do you see your outlook going forward? What is your plan? So currently, I am. I have three options actually. I can uh, make my career in systems engineering. I can also become a research engineer, and I can also go in engineering management. Uh huh. Are you confident that you will find a job here in the US? Oh uh, yeah, kind of yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love the uh, confidence, man. Yeah. Of course, you know you have great professors backing you too. So. Yes, lot of uh, students coming from India. Yeah, they don't know this, but once your course get complete, there is a sixty day time. Yeah, in which you you can have that time for free after yeah. your course completion. There is a sixty day time period. After that, your ninety day OPD start, which is like optional practical training, which eventually every international student will have to. Do. So you have to get a job in those ninety days. So somehow you get like one fifty days. Yeah, but you can't take all the one fifty days. So consider like one forty days you have after yeah. your course completion. and in that time you must land a job relevant to your field of study yes that's also important something yeah. which uscis should approve which uscis uh, yeah, yes or the ieee you know yeah. like the international uh, student some i don't remember yeah, the name yeah. i didn't knew that you are going to make a video otherwise yeah. you know i would have prepared something in myself no no it, it has in to be impromptu test you whatever know, like, is on top of mind and, is most important and i thought that the campus is open but No students are here. Otherwise, yeah. uh, we would have at least got to go inside library. Would have got to go inside the, uh, you know, like the research labs are there. Financial engineering yeah. lab is there. I think most important is to sort of have your point of view. So, what would mm -hmm. you suggest to the students who are uh, coming to the U.S. or New York, as such? You know, what what would be your message to them? Is it you think it's a good choice? It's a good. It's a great choice to come to U.S.A. Like yeah. you literally jump your life. Four five folds, like compared to back in India, if you get the job. Yeah. <laughs> the main thing I would uh, suggest students coming here is that do well in your GRE, do well in your uh, IELTS, study very very well. I would say them, because uh, GRE is okay. It's just for the sake of getting an admission in the university. But make sure your IELTS score as scores are very good, because if you are not able to communicate yourself. Yeah. what you are and why you are here then forget about getting any opportunity so the students who think that you know get a because after a covid ielts waiver uh, yeah. after covid universities have become yeah. very lenient, lenient you know yeah. because they they incurred a lot of losses so they are like okay let's let's, let's get give, yeah let's yeah. give admissions for yeah. now it's like that and that's also one of the reasons why we are getting to see that lot of students are not getting a job because not uh, everyone is fully qualified so you said you stay in new jersey uh, so how much does it oh, cost the reason i stay in new jersey okay. is because the cost is less you get a uh, one bedroom private in an apartment for like $1000 and uh, also the indian street is nearby okay <laughs> so you get yeah. indian food as well you know like they say the jersey city is indian square is uh, having the largest indian uh, people community Yeah, and there are a lot of Indian festivals also happening, Navratri, Diwali. You get if you walk there, you don't feel like you are in US. So the, uh, mainly because it's cheap, and also because you get good Indian food. So you spend about thousand dollars a month on rent, and what is your total living expense? Two thousand or around two thousand, less 2000. than two thousand. But if you are willing to share your apartment yeah. with someone, a bedroom in sharing, then it will cost you around five hundred to six hundred dollars staying. And staying. the food, food actually, it's completely subjective. subjective. So it depends. Do you cook? 
Sometimes. Because two thousand dollars is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yes. What I've uh, understood is that students mostly who are in New York are like spending around thousand two hundred. Uh. Because we consider the stay cost as well, right? Yeah. Otherwise, uh, if it will cost you around like six hundred to seven hundred for sure, sure for your food and your little bit of travel expenses. Right. Slightly more expensive uh, for your living cost. Yeah, over here it's yeah. expensive That's because, right. like, from other universities, I've spoken with yeah. few of the students, and they are like, uh, their fees is like relatively fifteen thousand, ten thousand per semester. Yeah. Stevens is very expensive because it's a private research institute. Right. So it's the cost of being like located in the in Hoboken, hub, uh, in you Hoboken, know? like like the hub having gr like good rankings and access to great uh, research opportunities. Yes. In terms of research, you get good opportunities. That's because, all uh, what you're paying as, for. Yeah. As far as I understand, all the professors here, they all are uh, into research. Are into research. They all are. They all will keep on publishing yeah, something sooner or later. Okay. Yes. When you came from India, what was some of the things that you felt quite <laughs> shocking? There is a different kind of might of USA, uh -huh. which you just get to see if you just uh, travel little bit, uh -huh. very little yeah. in USA, compared to any other nation. You get to see because the vehicle sizes. No. The road sizes, yeah. it's it's everything is you know like greater than what is required and needed. Yeah. So it's like so USA everything gives in USA is big. Yeah, USA yeah. gives you that. The food portion from the food portion to the everything. roads to the cars to the buildings. Yeah, and they have their own uh, you know like different uh, units, right? Yeah. You, if you go <laughs> deep down, yeah. they don't follow the uh, they don't SI follow the units. world. Uh, they they have their they, own other they, metric they, units. <laughs> they'll make everything on their own. Yeah. So they are very small unit is comparatively bigger than the other small units of the world, yeah. right? Like one kilometer oh. compared to one mile. One mile, yes. Yeah. So that's what you get to see in everything. Like for example, these police cars here, it's always like most of the times it's standing. Those are uh, campus police cars. Yeah. And look at the sizes. Yeah. It's a dodge. Yeah, it's a dodge. But do you find the campus to be safe? Uh, oh yes, yeah. this is a very safe campus. A very safe campus. Yes, it's a very safe campus. I've never heard uh, like any kind of criminal activity happening right. over here. We also have those electric scooters here, mm -hmm. parking every yeah. place. We also have the city bikes. For the electric scooters, like your university registers your scooter and gives you a free lock. Yeah. So in case, you know, like nobody can blame that my uh, lock was missing or something. Yeah. So you get that, but you have to register your scooter with them. And also, we have yeah. uh, this shuttle service. Okay. Yeah. And where does it take you? The shuttle, shuttle service takes you to uh, to Hoboken Station. Also, do there is one lift which connects with Jersey City. Yeah. Uh, like with Jersey Heights, so it takes you there near that station. It has like two three spots here. You can book it via your app. There is a Stevens Shuttle app. So for everything, there is an app. You make a reservation and you can yes. go and. Uh, Yes, for everything. These are also other other buildings. That is that one is the oldest one. The one with the you know like you see right. the stone stone yeah. kind of yeah that that is the oldest one. This Gateway Academic Center, it's uh, it is also very good. You would like to see it. There is one more cafeteria here. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's closed. closed. <laughs> <laughs> but outside this street. On the main street, there, like just two blocks away, there is a very famous Indian restaurant known as Karma. So you get good Indian food here yeah. as well. On the corner, there is Gio Giovanni's Pizza as well. It okay. is also very famous one in Hoboken. So Hoboken is a party place, uh, like lots of restaurants and yes, like on Friday night and Saturday night, you yeah. get a lot of uh, places where some kind of parties are happening because there are a lot of pubs here. Outside just Hoboken Station, you will find three, four pubs. So were you able to make friends here from like different oh, countries? Yes. Uh, uh, from different countries, I would say less. From a lot of international students are from India itself. Yeah. Uh, because currently, you know, like India has uh, jumped more than uh, China, I guess. Yeah, yeah. In terms of international students I coming have, to yes, US. Every country, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So you get to see a lot of uh, Indian students here yeah. as an international. But undergrads, you will always see a lot of American students. Actually, I was having a meeting with my professor right now. Okay. <laughs> before coming and meeting you. Okay. And uh, he was like, Neeraj, we'll meet on Monday. And I was like, he was like, yeah, <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. I don't want you to work. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me work. Uh, I was like, okay. Uh, I wasn't aware that yeah. uh, it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, if I would have known it, I would have told you that yeah. let's not meet at uh, Stevens. Okay. But anyways, you had to see the campus as well. No, it was good. I maybe we didn't see some of the inside of the buildings, but uh, oh yes, we missed on that. Yeah, we missed out on that part, but uh, I think we still got to see 
the campus and just to i mean for everyone to see that we just walked out of the campus yeah. and this is where we have a uh, lot of restaurants out here so of course some fitness center but the yeah. giovanni's pizza that neeraj was saying is right here and then there is karma cafe there are a lot of co coffee shops in hoboken hoboken is like that cream crowd of us you get to see here yeah. it's like it's a porsche area overall it is having yeah. a very good uh, this vibe so let's go there yeah. there is karma cafe there you want to shoot this yeah we can okay i think it's just for uh, students to know where they are coming i think when uh, yeah when people Eventually, are trying to make a choice you will be editing a lot of things right yeah you so will have to edit a lot in this i know some become funny funny bits what would you like to have let's go to karma cafe you hmm. will also get to uh, show it to the students right yeah. that there is an indian restaurant here and sometimes uh, there is some bollywood night as well i have never been there yeah. but uh, bollywood nights keep on happening i don't know where it actually happens but uh, it's very famous some dj's they come from india and then oh, okay yeah anything uh, regarding your admissions process you know what did you feel uh Why admission did you, process is very you, smooth yeah, with students. Yeah. With students, yeah. sometimes they even waive off your uh, ad, uh, this application, application fee. fees. This is like around five hundred dollars. Yeah. So this is Karma Cafe. Here we are, guys. Karma Cafe. It seems like a total Indian hot. vibes. Ah. <laughs> Celebrating their twenty-fifth anniversary. <laughs> so much more warmer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, we can sit here. Yes. Put our camera switch. to the side. Thanks for uh, bringing me here, man. So, what's plan with Admit Card? What What are you guys uh, doing? Like so, basically, something new here, or uh, so uh, we're doing a few things, but uh, especially this initiative and meeting you and getting your feedback is uh, part of uh, how we are looking at you know as mentorship. stands you know we are not able to make everyone get connected with everyone ah, so yes. it is better that you know we said that you know to have recorded experiences uh, and 6 months ago i started a youtube channel if you found this useful make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel